we're back in playing once again. But I tell you what, 905 definitely did not allow Lisk to take the round away from them. They made sure they kept the pressure going and doing so. 3 1. I'm telling you now, this could get very messy at the end. A trade off the bat, 3v3, and already looking over to the B site, looking to go towards Burner. And the pressure pushes in. Aces falls down to Charisma left. And Charisma, that's a lot of work to do. Now you're spotted as well. And Bomb is not in hand. Yeah, Bomb not in hand. Charisma looking for his first kills off the map. He won't be able to find it. Lisk, a nice around there from them. They get the early numbers with the ARs. And find the pickoffs, make it 3-2. to two. Still a little bit behind in his search and destroy. But see, when they start these rounds off hot and they get their early picks, I mean, Lisk definitely has the upper hand. Yeah, it's, it definitely shows that Lisk prefers the high pace, high octane yeah. tempo, which then went to show in protocol that we saw before. A smaller map, you can apply the pressure a lot more. In doing so, now we've got a map that is bigger, it's slower. It doesn't fit their rhythm, and that is clear. Particularly, as I said, I've played with all of the Lisk guys. They were playing a lot of these style maps. They didn't really touch red card. They didn't touch uh, uh, Vakuda, and this is showing. This is massively showing, and in doing so, well, they got the first pick as Mark before. Charisma, though, does find the trade there, makes it a three on three. The b bomb will be going over towards B slowly as Lisk try to get the plant down. We haven't seen that so far this map. There hasn't been a single bomb plant. Every single round has been over by the kills. It's going to be Storms, though, finding a pick onto Edson, as I think now we're finally going to get a plant down on this B side. Twix, though, finds one more, and that's going to be another quick round for Lisk. They tied up the search and destroy at three apiece. Three apiece, indeed. And, yeah, we still haven't seen that bomb plant, but... Again, this wide sight lines is what's costing them, and in doing so, you can see Wonders sliding in, pushing into those angles, much like his teammates. It is aggression, and hey, I, I don't mind being the broken record in, in, this, in this booth, but that's what's winning. So yeah. why change something that isn't working? So that's a big thing as well. Twix also very, very close. One kill away to get the RCXD. Of course, that is allowed during Search and Destroy as the bomb is going to look towards the A side. Yeah, it's going to be going towards A, and it's going to be a lot of damage taken by Twix. He's able to still out, throws out the nade, but I don't know if he knows there's a player flanking behind him. Aram going to find the opening pick, find a, finds a couple. Now Twix knows one's behind him, tries to pre-fire. He's going to ask for some support. Here's Mark, looks for the shots. Doesn't get spotted out, though, by that player. So he's completely in this back line, uncontested. But it looks like Lisk are going all around the map to look for Mark, who's just stuck in their spawn. They have no ideas here. So should be, in theory, able to pick up at least one kill on this flank as Lisk have completely flipped the map. But the bomb is going to be dropped towards A site. So it's going to be a lot of work needed here from Mark. Is over towards this B site. Trying to find the kill. Gets spotted out. And that's going to be the end of that one. Lisk, flawless round. Take that one home. I was going to say, like, if there was a potential if you just picked one-on-ones, like I say before, and just found one player. They were so spread out, yeah. it was risky in my eyes. Personally, if I was in that position, I'd w I would still spread out, you know, have a, maybe one person towards mound, one person uh, inside tunnel, one by, the, uh, by P2, and then have your Roma doing the job. But they were spread all out, some of them up into the warehouse, some of them up by P3, some of them in, inside the inside burner. They were so, so spread out, that would be my danger. But hey, clearly I know wrong. <laughs> clearly I know wrong, because these guys are doing a fantastic job as they take the lead for three. Yeah, it's going to be Wonders looking for the really shot. Throws out a nade, is not able to find the kill there. But you see, see how aggressive Lisk are playing. Stun does come through, trophy system will go down. Wonders looking for a shot, waiting for Edson to peek up there. But it's not going to come through. Mark's going to find the first pick onto Storms. Wonders did spot that player out through that too, but does get taken down. But there is going to be a trade coming through still. 3v2 situation for 905 Esports here. As they put themselves in a good position to win this round. You can see the huge flank coming in from mm -hmm. Aram. Can he find anything around this corner? There's be a player laying down in the snow not gonna be able to find a charisma picks that one up it's gonna be wanders now stuck in the one versus three situation has the bomb looking towards that 
D site, I believe, doesn't get the plant down just yet. Looks for the opening pick. I think found a player there, but it's going to go into the spawn. Knows that there's one on the flank. He's going to get pushed from all angles. Needs to find a one on one quickly. There is one. Aram picks one up. Looks for one on the trade. Doesn't find Edson just yet. Finds the second. Puts himself in a 1v1 situation against Marky. He's able to stay alive. Goes for the pistol oh. kill, but Marky in a great position there to give 905 Esports the round. If there is a desk, there is a hundred percent a hole in it right now. The so, so close to have it. Wanders is slamming his desk. He's not disappointed. That would have been the greatest 1v3 one, three, one three clutch. And he even had the angle. He but had the angle. Everything was lining up for him. But Lisk, again, the, the pressure for the 905, they took a belief out of their book. They applied the pressure and look what happened. They're back in this game at 4-4. And this is looking like this could go to round 11. But Wonders for Lisk does have that RC car, which is huge in a game mode like SND. Wonder if we're going to see it come out at any point on this map. Wonders going to take some shots early on. It's going to be a B push coming out, oh, an A push, sorry, coming out from the side of 95 Esports. And they're getting looking to get this plant down early. And they are able to do so. Now it's going to be the first post plant situation we really have seen on this map. And it's a nice flank from Aram. Going to have great trigger discipline. And it's going to be all four kills instantly. Going over to Lisk, they're going to put themselves on map point with a beautiful retake of the site. Aram timed it perfectly. He knew the player was there. He knew that the, he hadn't recognized where he was. So naturally, what you have to do, survey the area. Is there a chance for a second person? Fancy. Do it. It's not, it, tell you what, trigger discipline is not common in Call of Duty. It is more common on your more traditional style of games. But here, it was executed to the T. And then thankfully, the kills from afar just came in. But map point and this would put them two up on two oil on the series yeah i mean Lisk could definitely want to win this round don't want to get it to round 11 territory 905 have proven that they are quite a threat on the search and destroy game mode and it's going to be a B push coming out here from Lisk Wonders. Almost takes one head off immediately. But it's going to be Marky finding Storm. Still, the trade comes out from Aram. Makes it a 3 3 situation. Marky going to throw out a stun there. Gets stunned up themselves. Storms will get stunned up as well. Looking for a player here and there. But there's a pick on the other side of the map. Now you're going to see Lisk with a man advantage. How they decide to push this one. Aram getting a bit too aggressive there. Keeps his head up for a little bit too long. Gets taken out by Charisma. Makes it 2v2. Plant is going down onto the A side. However, it's going to be 40 seconds for Liz to hold on and take the map. Deep breath is all 905 can do. You're trying to bring this to overtime. Lisk have control. They have bomb site. They're playing the buddy system. They don't want to move away. They don't want to give any form of information. 32 seconds left on the clock. No pressure just yet. As they try and gather information. Stun's going to go in. Nothing. No information. Now they're going to have to rotate in blind. Nothing there. Wanda's oh, going to get the first piece of information. He knows one. Now he knows they're both there. Now both attention's going to look down the same area. Tag's going to go in. Wanda's is down There's and no low. Time. Quick quick regen. They could go for a quick defuse. Not going to work. No Eight seconds left on the clock and it's done. Lisk is happy. They're taking the second map. Great 2v2 defense there from List. They know they don't need to get aggressive. They, as you said, they do the buddy system, stand next to each other. One watches one way, one watches the other. 905, I feel like they just took way too much time for their retake. When you have 40 seconds with the map on the line, you can't just sit there for 20 seconds hoping your enemies make a mistake. You have to put on the pressure and make the good play and Lisk wait for that pressure, but it never comes and easily they take that round. Absolutely, and uh, what, what a turn of events. It looked like 905's map, it looked like they they just had that confidence, the yeah. feeling behind it. And I tell you what, they did. They, you know, they, they showed it on a scoreboard on the on a 6-4. And then just Lisk just found this aggression, this extra level of aggression that they needed. And next thing you know, start to chip away. And the mistakes kept following through from 905. And they were only really small ones, not noticeable. Mm -hmm. But small mistakes allowed Lisk to take that map. And uh, it's unfortunate. 2v2, you both get spotted at the very end. And then... It's near impossible with yeah. 20 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, but Lisk, they have to get their flowers. I mean, they made some plays that some players just wouldn't make, like that flank we saw where, with mm. the trigger discipline you spoke about. it. not something you see too often yep. in COD, but just a great play there from Aram, and that kind of helped secure that round to put them on that point. And then, as you said, 2v2 was beautifully closed out by them. They go up 2-0 as 
we're going to be heading over to control and based off how things went in map one in that respawn game mode i mean i'm definitely expecting Lix to be the stronger team what, what are your thoughts on that Ooh, i think i think realistically from what we've seen yeah i think Lisk is going to be the stronger team especially in respawn going into red card we saw how protocol being about you know use a measurement scale here about this this size <laughs> then we went to volcuda now we're going to Oh, I'm off screen, red card. <laughs> you, you can see how the maps are getting bigger and 905 coming back. So that's going to be the big, big question. But I tell you what, we could pond let's ponder this during a quick break. We will be back. Grab yourself a drink, but make sure you have the screens on because we've got more action. Welcome back everybody, we are just about to start this control map, actually we are right underway, it's going to be Lisk against 905 Esports, it's going to be Lisk on the defense, 905 Esports on the attack. Absolutely, and of course, starting things off, you can see the pressure going towards the bus, going towards that side to get the first tick going, time is going to be stopped, and if you are not familiar with control, you have to get three ticks of progression, and once you complete all three ticks, you claim the point and an extra minute on the board, and I tell you what, first progression is already done for the side of 905, and already the pressure they're applying oh. on here is how Arum stayed alive oh, is a question in itself, as he's already fired up. That five minute break did not slow him down. Yeah, I mean, that was a heroic play there from Aram. Should not be even finding one kill in that situation. He's going to rotate over to the other side and pick up Aces, who was looking for a big flank. Now you can see Lisk are on the defense, but they're getting very far off the map. Every single kill they get is worth way, way more in the enemy spawn than they, if they die. It is a defensive kind of minded game mode control is. It's way harder to find uh, the full captures on the attacks. You can see Lisk, even though they're defending, they're all together pushing on the map, but it's going to be 905 Esports on that A site trying to get that capture. There's going to be a couple picks going over to them, and it's going to be Charisma sitting on top of this one trying to get that point. Lisk going on a deep flank, but not going to be defined. It looks like A point will be captured by 905. Brilliant work for the capture because what 905 did is send a few players down to L, trying to over to the P5 near pitch side. They made sure that they brought the 
entirety of Lisk towards the club uh, heart, uh, club control. And then in doing so, they slowly trickled a couple of players to go north and go and take the uh, stage hard point. And it worked exactly the way they needed. Now comes the tricky bit. Yeah. CQB? It's hard. Oh, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, you can see Aram on this flank. Picks up one, picks up a second, looks for the third, does get taken down. But Wonders will find that trade. It's a nice job so far defensively from Liskin. You can see how hard it is to attack on this B site. And... You can take a look at the lives though, 15 to 13. I mean, it's really close. If 905 can just outfrag Lisk here, it would be a huge start to the map for them if they can get a quick, easy round just based off kills. But I don't think that's going to be the case here. Lisk doing a great job defensively all of holding on for dear life. Mark Q is up pretty deep up mid with this PP. Looking for some shots here. Gonna pick up that. Gonna go for the swing here. That's a dangerous swing. Picks up one. Another teammate finds another. Looks like a little bit of room made for 905 as they look to get into the point. Great progression. It was temporarily a clear sight, and they're gonna try and take advantage of it. Contested. Oh. 18 seconds left on the clock. So pressure is now mounting. They can't get wiped. Lisk, six lives remaining. And now, if you're Lisk, you have to push in. You have to contest. And you've got to make sure your presence is shown. But they're still being oh, forced out. Aram has done a good job to make a little break, but there's no lives remaining for Lisk. Three to go. Another progression. One more tick if you are 905. And this is going to be a huge start. An attacking start. But they've been wiped. They've been pushed. And now they've got to rush in. Three Ten people, seconds. Though. Ten seconds on the clock. That's going to be the big problem. Three lives for Lisk. Can you keep no. it alive? No. They're being pushed off. That was Ensign. Ensign, you've got to sprint. It's not going to happen. Water finished to that round from Lisk. Only three members were alive against Ooh. the four of 905. I feel like if 905 didn't get so scared by the time and just took their time, pushed in at once, I think the four and three advantage would have really showed there. But it seemed like they trickled in one by one, and that was mainly their downfall. It was a great offensive round from 905. About as good of one as you can get, but still, they can't get the finish. Now it's going to be Lisk on the attack. Welcome to a game of control. It yeah. can look like it be in one person's favor, and then next, you know, flip, and it's now on to the other side. But yeah, that I, 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 we are right in saying that CQB site is so, so hard. much harder. Trying to fight inside of club, you've got to go through narrow channels, through VIP, or you're going through office, or you're going through um, exit, uh, exits. No matter how you go through, it is a tough sight, but I feel the general consensus is let's get control of stage, let's get that one done, have a minute on the clock, and then go for the club. Yeah, I mean, that it's definitely tricky, especially with the spawns being right there for the defenders. But you're going to see Lisk actually going to be attacking this B site first. They want to get this one done and over with, and they're going to get up to a great start. Aram has to be careful here not to go down. Is able to stay alive? There's going to be another couple kills going over to Lisk as they're going to start the capture progress on this B site. Storm's just sitting there with the pistol, daring someone from 905 to try and walk into here. But it doesn't look like 905 can get anything going. They find one kill onto Storm. The rest of the team going to look to push in. Edison going to get taken down on this right side. It's just charisma and point b already secured now it's gonna be 905 in a lot of trouble here as lisk look to capture the a site what pressure they have put forward lisk has put on the burners and they're going after it they don't want no close games they want to get this 3-0 done and dusted storms around the outside trying to defend promenade not going to work all too well and now you've got to try and find your way onto point they have an advantage but they don't have angles but look at aram oh. that's one does he know the second yeah, onto does. the other side of soccer he knows, but he can't do anything about it just yet. In doing so, position given away, Aaron falls. But look at this positioning. Lisk are happy. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't started more progress on this site. Now they're going to have three members on it, so it's going to be going by quickly. That's one tick already gone. You can see 905 going for a flank. And it's going to not work out as Lisk just sitting on that point with all their members super quickly capture everything and a very great offensive round coming out from them. I don't know where 9 of 5 has gone. Their, their S&D was strong. It was looking good. That first round was smooth. Good, they were yeah. making the progression. Were they pressed for time at the end? Yeah, that, that was the, the how they lost. But there's a round there. There's something there. But losing an attack... <sighs> It's going to be a hard comeback. You have to win your next attack and yeah, you have to defense. win your defense to at least bring it to overtime. So you've basically got to reverse sweep these boys. Uh, this is <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's going to be difficult. I'm not going to say it's out of the question because I've called it early and got myself wrong. Yeah, anything is possible in Call of Duty. I mean, 
905 still in it, but Lisk definitely putting on the pressure. You know, I think that B-side attack from Lisk just demoralized 905. The fact that they got it so quickly, 905 kind of just fell apart, didn't know what to do. But let's look how things are looking in this round. It's going to be 905 pushing towards that A-side again. They're not going to go for any tricky, sneaky plays like the side of 905. Uh, not the side of Lisk did. There's going to be a one-for-one -one trade early. Charisma takes down one. There's Aram on the flank looking for one. Can't find anything. The capture on A-side should be coming through from 905 just based off the start. They have a lot of members here and it looks like Lisk are kind of contempt with giving up this one as they play the point PT. Absolutely and it's a, a stack as well so time is going to go faster for them. They just need to make sure Storms doesn't get involved and cause an upset. Storms going to get some damage to go through. Not going to be enough. Point secured. Two minutes on the clock though. That's a good number and a good amount of time. They know where they went wrong last time. They know the dangers of this clubhouse. Now is the point that they have to make those amends and push in fast. Yeah, now it's going to be kind of what we saw last round. Easy A take 4905, but on this B side, I mean, they just couldn't get anything going. And Lisk just pushing into the spawn, playing with full aggression on this defense. I think that's the most optimal way to play control. But Edison's going to find a couple still gets taken down. The pressure keeps on coming from Lisk. Aaron finally gets taken down. I think 905 going to have a bit of room to breathe, with, to breathe with. Storms finds one, gets traded out. There's one more member sitting down oh. in this corner. And this is a great position here. I mean, 905 half to clear that one out. Edson oh, will find one here and finds a trade. Yeah, Storm's playing a dangerous spawn trap there. Allowing the players to walk past. Theoretically, you can capture a couple of people, but if they're coming through L, which oh. most of them were, they are going to make that pressure go through. We have a Roma. That's Asus. He is going to do a little bit of damage. Not too much, but Storms finds two. So thank you very much. Is there three? No. As they a little opening towards VIP will go into Edson's favor. But he is trapped. He's stuck on to the P5 site. And he needs to find a break. Nothing there. 11 to 14. This time not in their favor. And 43 seconds to go. This is not good if you're 905. This is not the position you're in last time. But still, plenty of time to make a flip. Yeah, I mean, two minutes turns to 30 seconds very quickly, especially with how Lisk are playing great position there from the Storms gets that kill. Ace is going to look for the swing. Gets taken down by Storms as well. 23 seconds and taking Mark Q. Gets a tiny little tap on the point so they know that there is somebody here. Just doesn't find the shots and should get taken around, around that corner. 13 seconds and taking now. Four side of 905. Only four lives remaining. I mean, virtually impossible for them to come back into this round. Wonders finds a couple with the pistol storms almost finds the third mark you gets down but that's going to be the map and the series going over 3-0 in favor of lisk oh ouch it's a big ouch getting 3 would onto the onto the control 100 point club within the hard point but there is hope That's 905 it. have a good strong s and d and you know what T credit where it's due they put up a fight and they made sure that lisk were pushed however Looking at this, looking at the map match we had before, I'm be real. Lisk has potential to go quite far into this tournament. Yeah. And taking account, we've got some big names day by day. Old fam, there's some big names here that want to play, and of course, our local St. Clair <laughs> team as well, which yeah. are favored to win this. So, don't rule Lisk out of this. I think I think there's a lot of potential here. Yeah, I mean. They looked very dominant on the respawn game modes. And, you know, SD, yeah, it was close. Both teams played a good SD, but Lisk in those respawns, that's definitely going to be their strong suit. I think that's what teams have to watch out for. And, you know, they even got streaks rolling in map one, didn't need to use them. Got some streaks in SD, didn't need to use them. <laughs> so, against teams that kind of maybe make it a little bit closer, if they're able to get those streaks and pump them out, pump out these big, uh, big, big performances from their big players, I mean, they definitely have a chance to go deep in this one. Absolutely. They definitely do have a chance to go deep but that's map number two done and dusted we still have i think another three maps to uh, three series to go in today um but as, as as for now what a map and what a series we'll be right back with the next series <laughs> 